Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today for today's show, Spirituality Talk. My name is Dark Moon Doll, and every Thursday, or at least I try every Thursday, to do a show on just that, spirituality, things of the spiritual nature. Today's show, I want to talk about uh, more of a paranormal type of theme today. I want to share with you uh, just a few just few experiences I had and see if you guys have had the same things happen to you and what you did to, uh, I don't know if solve the problem, but to make it more understandable. Okay, when I was like seven years old, I spent a lot of time by myself. In the evening, there was one night where I was washing dishes. My mom was at work, and my brother was out somewhere, and um, I heard like someone walking up the steps from my basement, and I knew I was the only person in the house. I was very scared, to say the least, but I just wanted to know what that was, so I went over to the top of the stairway and looked, opened the door and looked down to see if there was anything there. Sure enough, there was nothing there, but I could still hear like somebody walking up the steps towards me, and <laughs> it totally freaked me out. So what I did was I slammed the door and ran into my mom's room and called her at work. So what happened was um, my mom came home from work and she called the police. They came in and looked all over the place, looked in the basement, looked around the house, everywhere. There was nothing to be seen. And of course, I knew there was nothing to be seen because <laughs> I didn't see anything, but I just heard something. Um, so after that experience happened, there was no further conversation about it. It was probably just left in the minds of adults as it being a, a child's overactive imagination. So that's, at that point in my life I knew I couldn't share these kind of paranormal uh, experiences with people, you know, or just anyone. So, yeah, it was pretty, pretty scary. <laughs> then another experience I had, I lived, it was much further down the road. <clears throat> I was living in a house uh, downtown Sacramento with my, my husband and my son. My son was a baby still. And, um, yeah, I experienced something very paranormal indeed. <laughs> and I'd shared it on another video as well. Uh, it was uh, the whole aliens uh, interaction, what I suspect it might be, but I'm not sure, quite sure. Um, if you didn't see that video, what basically happened was I was awoken in the middle of the night by a bright light flashing into my bedroom, um, only in one location of the bedroom, just right where the uh, where the closet is, and um, and then I heard a high high frequency pitch, squeak, just squeal, or, or not squeal, but just like, ee, kind of sound, and I looked behind me to see if there was any cars going by that could flash the lights in, but there's nothing, it was totally dark outside. My son was making the same pitch sound as the sound was that was coming in, and uh, I was just kind of frozen, I couldn't really do much of anything because I didn't know what it was. And then that experience ended, and I didn't really search further about what that could mean, because it confused me, and I didn't know which way to go with that. So I just kind of like chucked it to the side and in the back of my subconscious mind as a memory. So yeah, it was very uh, disorienting, disorienting, because when you don't have an explanation or have anybody else that has experienced the same thing as you have, like right there, oh, don't worry about that, this is what this is, <clears throat> then you're very confused. I mean, at the time I was reading uh, some le metaphysical literature. Um, I guess it was more like light metaphysical uh, literature, like, I mean, and 
personal biographies like, you know, Shirley MacLaine and people like that that didn't really, I don't know, I mean, she does cover a lot of things, but there's a lot of things that are happening to me that could not be explained in a lot of the books that I was uh, purchasing or checking out from the library. So yeah, those are like a few of the examples of paranormal experiences that had no, I had no like definition for the things that were happening. The last experience I'll share with you is I was, um, <clears throat> when I first moved into that house downtown before I had a baby, I went to go take a nap in the back room. My head, there was no bed back there, so I just laid on the floor. My head was in the closet door and the rest of my body was out of it. I fell asleep, took a nap, and then uh, I felt like something was dragging me out by my legs. And so I opened my eyes and I couldn't physically see anything, but I felt the sensation and I could feel my body actually moving, being pulled. <laughs> so yeah, that was scary. You know, I told my, my husband about it, but he hadn't experienced anything like that. So I felt kind of uncomfortable sharing that with anybody because, you know, back then when I did share a little bit of something that maybe someone considered odd or weird, I I knew it made them feel uncomfortable, so I don't want to, like, step over anybody's boundaries of what they want to hear or deal with, so. But, yeah, those are some experiences that I've had. I've had more, but um, just a few. As years went by, I was able to figure out what, what a lot of them meant or what they meant to me through reading, you know, reading more and finding, uh, you know, more information about specific things, like, uh, I do believe when I was younger that was a ghost. And then uh, later on down the line with, you know, that whole encounter with the bright light, I do think that may be extraterrestrial related. And then the other experience, you know, with being pulled by the legs, I feel like that's uh, ghost related. So um, I think basically what happened with me is like the information comes to me when I, when I'm ready for it. And that might be the same thing with you who are listening. And I don't feel like we need to get too excited about the, too extremely excited about these experiences until we really break them down and figure out what they mean. Because the more fear that you build up around these experiences, the more I think the knowledge of what they mean becomes hidden. <laughs> And what I found helpful for me, like I've said in many of my other videos, but if you're, this is the first time you're watching this video, you know, I'll just say it again, and I don't mind repeating things too much. Um, I just feel like there's a good way to process these things. Um, immediately in the situation, you may feel fre fearful and anxiety-ridden, but uh, for me, after the experience happened, at the time, back way back when, when I was a kid, I kept a journal to write all the experiences down that didn't make any sense to me. And then as I got older, I started drawing out the experiences and trying to paint them and uh, just recreate them in a, in a way that I could understand it and feel comfortable with. So if you guys are interested in some of those, those techniques that I use with as far as, far as art goes, because I think that art is very therapeutic and it helps you understand a lot of the experiences in your life that are very puzzling. So yeah, I could share those those little exercises that I do. It's just drawing and certain things that I do whenever experience happens. So if you're interested in that, leave it in the comments below. If there's any other spiritual matters you're interested in knowing about or confused about, you can leave that in the comments below and I can make a show about it and see if I can help you with that as well. Thank you so much, guys, for coming to the show today. I really appreciate it. I hope you found something really helpful within. Um, we're all going, a lot of people are going through a lot of these kind of unexplainable experiences, but I've noticed through time that these experiences are becoming more of the norm, so people are becoming more open to sharing. All right, thank you. I'll see you next week next Thursday. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing.
and thank you for leaving awesome comments. I appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Peace.